Hello, this is <coughs> Kyotofano. Today, we're going to be playing with the Productive Bees mod. And to start everything, we're going to need a nest locator. Boom. Oh, it like glows when you look at one. And if you're new around here and wondering why I'm doing this, simply it's because I want the time in a bottle. It requires a speed upgrade, which requires honeycomb blocks, which requires bees. So that's why I'm getting so deep into bees. And on the topic of you being new around here, why don't you go down to the subscribe button and give it a little tickle. I don't know why I said that, but it would be greatly appreciated. Breeding bees is a thing. All I have to do is grab some flowers, right? But it also has to be daytime, so... Sweet, now it's daytime, they should all pop out. Just click on them. Click, click. Click, click. 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 Now we got tiny baby bees. <gasps> that one's got a jacket. Oh my god, it's so cute. And with all that extra honeycomb, we can make an advanced box now. Yeah, this. Boom. Bam. Oh, the bees went in the advanced one. There's, a, there's an advanced... <laughs> advanced bee. This side will be for the advanced ones. And this one will be, well, obviously for the just normal ones. What the heck? Honey essence. Time to automate honey with honey seeds. I just need another one. There it is. Boom. Ooh. Ba ding. Now I'm gonna sit here until I, I just got another one. I think that's the max amount I can have. No, it's not. Definitely not. One, two, three. Four. What I did get was a crap ton of honey essence, though, which means I can finally do what we were gonna do before, which is make the upgrade thingy maji. <laughs> make the base, make the actual thing, and then bada bing bada boom, we have time in a bottle. Oh my god! This thing is so overpowered, so anything, right, that takes time, it'll take time out of this and speed it up by however much time you just put in, right? So let, let's say we had a really slow furnace. We don't, but if we did, we could speed it up instantly using this and of course it's accumulated over time so the more time we wait the more time we have oh my god you can make fish and chips okay so this next part took so long that i'm just gonna explain it in the most simplest form. To get to where I am now, I had to fuse some bees together. Each bee was acquired via its nest. So let's start. The glowing bee and the chocolate bee. You get the redstone bee. Pair the redstone bee with the blue banded bee, you get the lapis bee. Pair the lapis bee with the ender bee, you get the diamond bee. Feed a netherite block to that diamond bee and you get an ancient bee. Now for these bad boys, I obtained these aggressive little shits via the obsidian nest. And if you're wondering why I said that, just look, not a single one of them isn't aggressive. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry, it's just text, they won't attack you. Now, onto why I made these guys. They produce Dragonic Comb, right? Which turns into Draconic Dust when you put it in a centrifuge, which you can then turn into chunks. Which you can then turn into productivity upgrades. And this is my setup right here. If you ever follow my footsteps, make sure that when you use the simulator, you have three of its flowering blocks underneath like exactly like this in a three in a three line it will not produce any combs if you have any less than three as the episodes progress if i ever come down here again this will be automated got that all right sweet oh okay well that's the explanation out of the way and that's about as far as i got up to so with that being said thank you so much everyone for watching and if you want to catch me next time be sure to sub and join the Discord if you want to. But then I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace!